just dropped some absolutely massive news on us, the Destiny 2 community. The return of two classic exotic missions has been announced in this week's TWID. And more than likely, we're talking about the Whisper mission, which was one of the most iconic, one of the best missions ever in Destiny's history. And it's been gone. This is how we actually got the Whisper of the Worm exotic sniper rifle. So that is likely to return. It's not 100% guaranteed. They just said two classic exotic missions. And then on top of that, we also have the chance for Zero Hour to come back, which was the ship that I still to this day use. And you see it all the time in my videos, that big bulky ship. Zero Hour is how we got the Outbreak Perfected exotic pulse rifle in Destiny 2. And so there's a chance for that to come back, which would also be really cool. And I'm definitely looking forward to running away from Trevor in fear, if that is the case. We could alternatively also get the Harbinger, and I don't think I'm missing any other exotic missions. Right now, there's currently an exotic mission rotator in the game, and I believe those are the ones that are missing. So we'll see which ones Bungie picks out of those three. I have a good feeling, though, that Whisper is one of them. If it wasn't, I feel like the community would be so outraged that Bungie would just... That would just be a PR disaster for Bungie. At the very least, it's got to be Whisper. And I feel like Bungie being Bungie, they probably didn't do Outbreak this time. They'll save that for later. So it'll probably be Whisper and Harbinger if I had to guess what Bungie would do here. But if they wanted to be really cool, they would definitely pick the Harbinger and the Whisper one. That would be insane if both those came out. This is going to be announced in the developer live stream number three, which is really exciting. We also get a preview of three new PvP maps that are arriving in May, which is pretty cool. Obviously, the PvP community has been absolutely starving for some new maps. We've been playing the same maps. We're still playing the same maps from when D2 launched. And even now, we have the new Onslaught mode, and it's on Midtown, which is literally a map that's been in the game since Destiny 2 launched. So we're seeing a lot of reused, recycled content with these PvP maps. It's time for some new maps. Hopefully, they are good. Fingers crossed they're good. Please be good. Please be good. Surely Bungie won't mess up the three new PvP maps, right? Surely not. Next up, we have a new PvE challenge called Pantheon. I have no clue what this is about. Um, Pantheon, you know, something about obviously something to do with many different gods. I don't know what's going to happen. It would be really cool if this was facing all the different gods in the game, right? Like the hive gods and stuff. I don't know. All the different gods that we've killed in the past. So that would be really cool. That would have actually made, for example, the... Uh, the mode, the, the new mode that's coming out, Onslaught, really exciting, really interesting. I don't think it has anything to do with that. It's just the PvE challenge. I don't know what it's going to be about, but Pantheon is going to come out. And we'll see what that's all about. And it's going to be in their third and final live stream. So apparently they saved the best for last. Their first one was pretty, you know, it was okay, but it wasn't that crazy. The second one was insane. The weapons were awesome. And it looks like the third one's going to be nuts. So make sure you're watching that if you want to get those Twitch drops. I know that they're absolutely bugging out for a lot of people. And not everyone is getting their emblems that they want. The Echo Diamond and all of those, those hold dear. But hopefully it'll work this time if you watch the stream. They actually decided to last time leave the live stream running. Just running with no, no one there saying anything. They just left it running so that way you could milk and finish watching the time so you could get the emblems. So keep that in mind. They'll probably do the same thing with the third live stream. So if you don't finish the time immediately, just keep watching the live stream even after it's over and done with. They also do a recap in this week's TWID of everything that they covered with the Brave Arsenal. Okay, all 12 of these weapons are iconic weapons from Destiny's history, and they're all going to have some pretty insane perk combinations on them. They're going to be some meta-defining weapons for PvE, especially that Midnight Coup and the Hammerhead. Those are insane. And in Pv PvE and PvP, it's just it's going to be nuts. All those weapons are really good. Even if you've been grinding the game for a while, you're going to want to jump in and get the god rolls of those. And if you haven't, if you've been taking a break from the game, this is a really good incentive to get you back in and playing before the final shape because getting the god roll of each of these 12 weapons will definitely be worth it. And keep in mind that Bungie is time getting them, which is a little bit of a hot topic. So initially they're going to release six of them. And then each week, week by week, they're going to release a new one until all 12 are released just two weeks before the final shape. So be mindful of that. We'll be watching the calendar and see which one they save for the very last. Of course, hopefully it's not Midnight Coup and save for the 12th week, but it might be. Knowing Bungie, it might be. It might be the very last week is Midnight Coup. But just keep that in mind. A lot of people were salty about the time gating of them. And they got a lot of crazy perk combos. You'll be able to enhance them when the final shape launches, which is going to be crazy. Keep in mind, you're not going to be able to just enhance any weapon. Some people are talking to me about this. Like, oh, what about enhancing Fatebringer on 
Twitter and people were asking me about stuff like that. It's only a select few weapons that are being enhanceable in the final shape that are coming from pre-final shape. And the reason why they're doing that is they're trying to incentivize the newest weapons that they just brought back into the game. So that way people actually grind for them and look forward to the new enhancing capabilities that are coming in the final shape. And then obviously they got the Hall of Champions and they went through and they did an entire section where they showed the Hall of Champions how you'll be able to focus farm for specific weapons. Each week you'll be able to get additional perks on weapons and stuff like that. It is a pretty cool way of grinding through the game and I, I'm looking forward to that. And obviously you can rank up, get to that super black shader. That's what everyone is going to want. Obviously that shader is the best shader in the game. This is the shader that everyone's wanted ever since it first came out in D1. And honestly, I feel like super black shader looked better in D2. The way they showed it, it was like the blackest, darkest shader I've ever seen. So definitely looking forward to grinding that 100%. We'll make sure to get that done. So that's everything that's a recap from all the Brave Arsenal. And then obviously they're hyping up the third live stream. I had to cover that news because that's just crazy with the two exotic missions. And then they got Garden Games Cup comes to an end. This is where they did a charity stream and they raised a ton of money for this. And our community, thank you to everyone that donated. We raised over $1,000 ourselves, which is very cool. Very happy to be a part of all of that. And so we have some cool prizes we can give away and such. So very, very cool stuff there. And these are all the teams that sold a bunch, or not sold a bunch, but raised a bunch of money, I should say. And then speaking of sale, we had the silver sale here. So if you're interested in giving Bungie some more of your money, you can open up the wallet to get 20% discount on your platform of choice. Keep in mind though, if you buy a cosmetic on one platform, I believe it doesn't transfer over to the other, right? You have to, you have to buy it. You have to get a 20% discount on the platform store of your choice. So yeah, make sure you pick it the right store there. So you get your 20% discount. And then we got the player support report, heavy mountaintop breathing. We got Riven's wish tokens. We have investigated an issue where some players were unable to spend the wish tokens available in their inventory. In every instance, we observed during our investigation, players had already spent the intended seven total tokens and had inadvertently been granted an additional token from an earlier week's quest. Players can safely dismantle these extra tokens. So keep that in mind. If you got some of those sitting around, you can just dismantle those if they're bugging out for you. Twitch drops and we got players shooting sure that they have successfully connected their Twitch and Bunchy.net in order to get those rewards from those Twitch drops. That way you can get those emblems from watching the streams and obviously watching my stream and anytime they do anything, it's a cool thing they have set up. So I just link that up. Bunchy.net and such Twitch, they have a good uh, partnership between the two there. And usually it works pretty well. Usually, not always, but usually it works pretty well. And then we got a list of known issues. So we got permeability perk on the Slammer Stasis Sword. We'll always change the sword to Strand. That's a bug that we we're talking about. It's a very strange one. We'll obviously get to fixing that pretty soon. Gilding the Guardian Game style champ does not increment the number of times. Gilded counter, got it. Defeating the Tormentor too fast and the arms do a strike can sometimes result in the elevator door not unlocking. So a bunch of simple issues. That's some crazy orcs tattoo right there. Nice. That goes hard. That's a wrap on this week's twid. That's everything for the Bungie news. Looking forward to that third live stream. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all the news in Destiny 2. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.